In this video, we're going to take a look at the quadratic formula. Now remember a quadratic equation is one in which follows fx equaling a times x squared plus b times x plus c, where a does not equal zero. Now also remember, to use the quadratic formula, this would mean that we're factoring and we're solving for the value of x. So the quadratic formula follows x equaling negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c, all divided by two a. So in this case, you're gonna get two answers. I want you to now pause the video and try to solve this quadratic equation using this quadratic formula. Now remember a quadratic equation is one in which follows the function ax squared plus b times x plus c, where a does not equal zero. Now our function is right here. So our value of a is equal to five, our value of b is equal to negative 30, and our value of c is equal to three. Now using those values of a, b, and c, substitute them into the quadratic formula, which is right here, which solves for x. It's just a simple way to solve for x. So since our value of b is negative 30, and we are supposed to substitute it in for negative b, this would mean we have negative negative 30 plus minus a big square root of b squared where b again is negative 30 so square that minus 4 times your value of a which is 5 times your value of c which is 3 and all of this needs to be divided by 2 times a where your value of a is 5 so let's start reducing this Negative times a negative gives me a positive. So we have positive 30 plus and minus the square root of negative 30 squared. Negative 30 squared reduces to 900 minus four times five, which is 20, times three, which is 60. So 900 minus 60. Now all of this needs to be divided by two times five, which is 10. So under the square root, you should have a value of 840. And you'll notice that the square root of 840 doesn't work out to a nice solid value. So what we're gonna do is leave it in this form. Now you could go and get an approximate answer by leaving it in a decimal, or you can go ahead and leave it in this form right here, depending on what your instructor prefers. So here we have two answers. One would be 30 minus the square root of 840, all divided by 10. And the other answer would be x equaling 30 plus the square root of 840, all divided by 10. 